In this video, I wanted to answer the top 10 most common questions that I get asked about e-bikes. I wrote them down so I won't forget. Question number one, how do e-bikes work? Honestly, I have no idea. I don't even know why I wrote this question down <laughs> because I don't actually know how they work. Um, they have a battery. They also have motors. The battery powers the motors to make the wheels turn and then your bike goes forward. <laughs> I don't know. I have a very basic understanding of how e-bikes actually work, so we're gonna skip that one. All right, second question is, are e-bikes legal? And I live in the United States and for the majority of the United States, yes, e-bikes are legal. They actually classify e-bikes into three different classes, class one, class two, or class three. And depending on where you live will dictate what is allowed in your area and where you can ride it at. So you should actually check in with like your local rules to see where can you ride your e-bike and then what kind of e-bike, a class one, two, or three is allowed in that area. The next question is, are e-bikes waterproof? Uh, no, nope, nope. Nope, they're not waterproof. They are water resistant, a lot of them are, which means like if it's raining outside, you're probably gonna be fine to ride at home, but it's probably not advised if it's like downpouring on you to take your e-bike out. I mean, if you get watery somehow in your battery terminal or it just gets in one of your plugs or ports, it's not gonna be good for it. And it's not even good to have your bike out there in the rain, even if it's not an e-bike because it can rust and it's just not as good on the frame and stuff. Actually, I wanted to update you on this video because e-bikes nowadays are having a higher IPX rating and are getting closer to being fully waterproof that you can completely submerge your whole e-bike underwater. So a lot of times now you can actually spray your e-bike down with the hose and you can even submerge your battery underwater because it has a higher IPX rating. So this depends on what e-bike you have. So check what your IPX rating is. But yes, nowadays e-bikes are becoming more waterproof. Way cool. These aren't in any particular order as well. If you're like, oh, that's the most common thing people ask. Well, I don't know. They, these are just common things people ask. So anyways, what, what is it? Number four, are e-bikes heavy? Yeah, depending on which one. So a typical weight of an e-bike, I think is around like the 60 pound range. That's like what the majority of my e-bikes are. I do have some that are on the very lightweight end, which are only around 30 pounds. And then I have some on the heavier end, which are around 75 pounds. So anywhere from 30 to 75 pounds is typically what all these e-bikes weigh. The most common one being around that 60 pound weight limit. Uh, not weight limit, uh, the weight of the e-bike. Uh, that's what the most common weight of a bike is. Really, it doesn't feel that bad when you're pedaling it because you have the power of an e-bike. So you don't notice it when you're riding it that it feels very heavy. But if you do have to maneuver it, like pick it up over a curb or into your house or something like that, then you're like, wow, this is pretty heavy. Basically, 60 pounds is equivalent to around six domestic cats. It's equivalent to 12 bags of carrots, 60 bags of coffee beans. It's equivalent to around the weight of two border collies. So hopefully that just gives you a clear idea of like how much weight an e-bike is. Like if you have two border collies, pick them up and then walk them around. And that's like carrying a bike. So now you know. Number five, are e-bikes easy to ride? Heck yes, dude. E-bikes are just a breeze to ride. Honestly, it's way easier than riding a normal bicycle because on a normal bicycle, I get so tired. I get so exhausted riding it because I have to pedal up hills and all this stuff. But an e-bike, it's just like so much easier. And the, the one thing that I would say, though, is depending on like your height and like how large you are as a person, um, might be easier or less easier. So, for example, what do I mean by that? Like if you're very short, like a five foot one person and you jump on one of these like a vet and fat tire e-bikes it might feel very big and large and heavy and just harder for you to maneuver and manage so it could feel a little more complicated riding a heavier bike like that if you were a small person or vice versa if you were a large person and you were 6 10 and you jump on one of these smaller e-bikes you're gonna be like this is a little toy and it's hard to ride so so Get the e-bike that's right for you but for the majority of riding them they're very simple it's very intuitive as well you basically hit a button to make you go into a faster pedal assist level which means you'll just go faster and then it has a throttle if you want to use that so 
They're very easy to use. If you can ride a bicycle, you can ride an e-bike. They, they aren't complicated at all. And if you're someone who's interested in getting an e-bike, I wanted to let you know that this video is sponsored by Nacto. They have a wide selection of different e-bikes to meet your needs, whether you want a trike or a folding e-bike or a cargo e-bike or a cruiser. They have a wide selection of different products for you to check out. One of my favorite e-bikes from them is the F2. It's a moped style e-bike that's all black it looks very sleek but it also rides very comfortably as well it has a very cushiony seat so I love ripping around on it I have a lot of fun and get compliments when I take it out they also do a great job at keeping their prices affordable so if you're new into the e-bike world you can get your hands on an e-bike for a relatively low cost they've been around for seven years and strive to meet the needs of their customers so if you're interested in their products I'll put a link in the description below What's the next question? Um, are e-bikes fast? Yes, yeah, I mean, it depends what fast is to you. The average speed of an e-bike is 20 miles an hour to 28 miles an hour. Those are common top speeds for all these e-bikes. That is pretty quick when you're riding a bicycle with no helmet and you're just cruising along. So yes, they do go pretty quickly, but yes, they do feel very safe and very comfortable to ride. I don't feel nervous on any of them. Usually they have decent braking systems so that you can still stop adequate times. And uh, yeah, so they feel fine even though they do go at those faster speeds. The reason they don't go faster than that is because like I said, back to the e-bike laws, what's legal to ride an e-bike, e-bikes can't usually typically be over a class three, which means it has to be stopped off at 28 miles an hour. If it goes faster than that, then you might be categorized as like a moped or a dirt bike, or I don't even, a motorcycle. I don't know what they categorize it when it goes faster than 28 miles an hour. So it's not that e-bikes don't have the capability of going faster than that, but they won't let you because a lot of the laws and regulations to ride a e-bike legally it has to stay under that speed limit. And if you're also looking for a comparison of like what else is around 20 miles an hour, just to give you an idea, a coyote without a front foot can run around 20 miles an hour. Hopefully that puts it in perspective for you. Uh, I forgot where I'm at. Okay, I'm sorry. Are e-bikes noisy? No. These e-bikes are very quiet. They're all battery powered. So they don't have like a loud motor or like you're starting the lawnmower. It's not anything like that. They are very very quiet you riding a bicycle the wind in your ears is will, what will be making all the noise the bike is very quiet though oh i like this question i have been asked this question a lot um are e-bikes lazy like isn't this just kind of like a cop out you don't have to actually pedal and all this stuff yes and no i mean you it depends on how you want to ride if you just want to throttle and just sit there then yeah you, that's considered lazy you can just putz around on a throttle all day and you don't ever have to move the muscle or you can choose to pedal your e-bike just like a normal bicycle. And you can choose only a little bit of assistant or a lot of assistant. So it depends on how you ride it. Typically how I ride, I like to pedal. So I like the e-bike to give me some assistance, but I like to still be moving and ride and put energy in. To me, it's how you ride is how lazy you want to be, I guess. Oh, it's getting hot now. That's on burning me. How far can an e-bike go on one charge? This depends on the bike, honestly, and this is quite a wide range. The, the maximum mileage that any of these e-bikes behind me can go is 65 miles on one charge. And then at the very bare minimum, I have an e-bike that will only go 20 miles on one charge. So anywhere from 20 to 65 miles is a typical range of an e-bike. But I think on average though, you'd probably get around 30 to 40 miles is probably an average range because oftentimes when e-bike companies say, we have a max range of 60 miles, what they mean is if you're on pedal assist level one, barely putting out any energy, not throttling ever, then we can go up to 60 miles. But as soon as you kick it into pedal assist level five or you throttle more, then it's less. But I feel like overall, if you're riding in average of throttling some and then you're riding it on slow speeds sometimes you're riding it on fast speeds if you are like a blend of all that stuff i feel like you'll hit like the 40 mile range in one charge and other factors like your weight if you're riding up a lot of hills if you're riding in gravel or dirt trails if there's a lot of wind resistance all those things can impact uh your range of how far you can get on one charge as well so keep that in mind 
The last question, are e-bikes eco-friendly? I have no idea. I, <laughs> I don't know this one either. Uh, I, I don't know because like on one hand, uh, you are using a battery instead of gas. And so like, that's very eco-friendly because now you don't have to use gasoline and it probably doesn't require as much energy to create a bicycle versus creating a whole car. So if you're using your e-bike in place of a car, then yes, it's probably really eco-friendly. But if you have a car and you also just want to get an e-bike, well then I don't know if it's really eco-friendly because now you're, you, that, that e-bike has to be made in a factory they have to make the battery. I don't know how long batteries last. What if you need to replace the battery in five years? So then it's like, how do you dispose of it? And then you need a new battery and then you need more factories. I I, I don't know, but so you tell me what's, what's eco-friendly? Maybe, maybe, I, I don't know. Hopefully that, hopefully that clears it up for you. But anyways, that's yeah, 10 common questions. I get asked about e-bikes and uh, those are my answers. If you want me to answer more questions, then ask your question in the comments and I will answer with another video like this. And that's it. Hopefully that helped. All right, cool. Have a nice day.